Swiss 212 is an equipment manufacturing company. We manufacture antennas for radio frequency signals. These signals are used in satellite telecommunication applications today. Um, so we manufacture those antennas that go onto satellites for uh, telecommunication applications, but also antennas that are used on the ground, on ships, on our, or on aircrafts to connect to satellites. So uh, Innovo regroups uh, a lot of support, uh, institutions, foundations, coaches, experts um, were there to help uh, young companies. Um, so for us, uh, they helped us a lot in getting in touch with uh, investors, with legal advisors, with coaches in different areas that helped us to, to develop and grow the company. So traditionally in the antenna industry, uh, these products are manufactured by machining aluminum materials, uh, which makes the manufacturing relatively expensive, complex and yields products that have a certain weight. Uh, at Swiss212, uh, we have developed a technology to 3D print those antennas out of polymer materials, which we then plate with a thin layer of copper to make them functional. So the new approach to manufacturing that we implement allows us to uh, make products at a lower cost, at a lower weight, and it also allows us to uh, integrate those products further and make them more compact. Swiss 12 sells its antennas in four different market segments uh, for ground applications, maritime, airborne and space applications. Uh, these markets are very different in terms of qualification and uh, certification requirements. Today we have worked with a number of customers uh, in these various fields on uh, prototyping and validation projects which were successful uh, and we're now starting to sell our products for ground and maritime applications uh, in first pre-series uh, because those are the markets where the qualification requirements are lowest. We are in qualification for aeronautic and space applications where we work together with customers towards this goal and we hope to commercialize our products in these fields in the coming two to three years.